Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha to a TV. I didn't actually mean to pop pop my collar this in in that intro, but while we're here, do we love the t-shirt? Guns and Roses. I'm not a hardcore, you know, heavy metal kind of rock chick band situation, but with Guns and Roses, oh, I love that band. Just solid. I picked this t-shirt up from Kmart in the men's department. And yeah, it's an actual like Guns N' Roses, it's not made by Kmart, it's like a Guns N' Roses official t-shirt. And at the same time, I got my husband a Game of Thrones t-shirt, which is also an official, like it's HBO. It was the Stark Kingdom, because he loves Stark Kingdom, you know, like everyone, because of Jon Snow, so hot. So hot. Today with uh, What's My Bag Wednesday, I'm really pumped though because this guy, honestly, since I unboxed it, the whole time I've been using it, I haven't needed to change out. I didn't feel the need to change out. It holds everything that I need. I did say in that vlog where I quick did a mini sort of snippet show and tell of it, I did say it holds what a Speedy 25 holds. That is correct. It definitely does because you can put your essentials on the bottom and then sort of pile items on top. Uh, but yeah, it's worked and it worked as well, like just all my needs. And then it worked as well as like, I called it my mummy pouch. So cute. It worked as my mummy pouch when I took my CE sort of like one or two times, maybe a handful of times. And I will show you what I did when I did like mum mode. But just a quick overview and my thoughts on it. Yes, I wanted to get my hands on a Palm Springs backpack for sure. The, and in the end, I decided to go with this, the PM size, not the MM size. The MM size is quite a lot larger. It's not a massive backpack. Like I feel like the Boss 4 backpack is big. Um, the MM is not massive, but it's definitely a backpack. You know, you're committing to backpack status. Uh, so in saying that, this size is perfect as kind of a handbag carry like this. I had it a few times. I sort of squished my hand through and carried it like that a few times. And then obviously on the back most of the time. Um, one strap is okay. It tends to slip off. Uh, but two straps, again, I showed you in that vlog, I feel very... I don't know, like Lara Croft, like I'm doing some kind of cool, I don't know, like workout or, you know, going to save the earth or something in this awesome like lifesaver backpack. But I did have a few comments on the straps, totally hilarious. I agree with all of you because at first I was like, these are stupid, like they look like octopus limbs and I wasn't sure. But once you pack it up, it, it actually does sit really nicely and they're so comfy because they're puffy. They're obviously really comfy. They got the stroke of approval from my son because when I was holding him, he started to gnaw like, it's not good for the calf leather, but he started to like gnaw his gum that's teething on it. And I was like, well, then that's it. We are keeping the backpack. He loves to gnaw on the straps. Got the tick of approval from Mussy. Uh, but other than that, it's a really, really comfortable backpack. Access-wise, yes, the zippers are quite stiff in the beginning. You can use, you know, the baking paper or like the wax to rub on it and all those little tricks and whatnot. You can read that on the forums. The reason it is so stiff, I will show you, is because the design has this little lip. So they created like um, kind of like a lip of the canvas to cover the zipper. Otherwise, the zippers would show. So they put this like return lip on it so that you don't see the zipper, but obviously you have to be able to maneuver the zipper underneath that lip and it's got it here as well. So you don't see the zipper. That is the reason it is quite stiff to maneuver, but I do think a keychain extender would help, you know, maneuver, just keep one down and just maneuver one zipper. I don't know if it will be too much. It'll probably rattle against the canvas. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm still on the fence about it. A charm would be cool to do that. But again, do you need it? I don't know. Uh, the black calfskin on monogram. Oh, just fall in love with it. The Mikasa line would be amazing in a Speedy. Oh my God. If they did a Speedy in the Mikasa line, sold out. 
unisex, boy, girl, doesn't matter. It would just, I would get that in a speedy 25. I just would. Because I've just fallen in love with the black calfskin. I think it makes it ultra sleek, ultra modern, and obviously you don't have the worry of patina uh, with the natural cow cowhide uh, leather trim. So that's definitely handy, especially with kids. One thing I did realize is that the tab here, Louis Vuitton Paris, totally handy because to get into that front small pouch, you just pull it and you can access the pouch, like the compartment here, a lot easier by just pulling on the tab. Uh, you know, not obviously yanking out it, but just pulling it aside, you can get your items out quite easy. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have been carrying around in this baby. And yeah, but all in all, I really enjoy it. I recommend it. The mini is gorgeous. It just was way too small for me. This is also quite small. I'm a larger girl. I'm taller and I'm heavier at the moment. Uh, and my husband was like, that looks like a kid's backpack. And I was like, well, that's good. You don't have to wear it. And he was like, oh, it just looks like a little child's backpack. So, you know, keep that in mind. They are quite small little bags. Okay, as I do, I'm gonna tilt the camera down a little bit so you can see. So this is it in this, in the front compartment I was just telling you about. I always keep my car key. That way I know where it is. I know how to reach for it. I know which pocket it is in. In other bags, I tend to do that as well, but then if I forget, I lose it. So that is my car key with my Louis Vuitton Dragon strap on it. Also, in that same pocket, I always keep an extra pacifier for Mussy. He's not really interested in them that much anymore, but if he's losing his shiz, I like to just have one, you know, so I'm not sort of searching around for something to soothe his worries. That is it, I think. No, over in the corner I have a SD card. This is a dead SD card. It's not working anymore, actually. I have to throw it out. So that is the front little pouch empty. Okay, and in the main zipper compartment, this is what the internal shot looks like right now. I have honestly just rolled back in from dropping Mussy at my mum's and doing other errands. Yesterday I got my nails painted. This bag hadn't been cleaned out. So let's go ahead and show you. What's cool about this bag is that you can pull the front, like under the zipper and pull the front down like so, and you can sort of slot all your items flat in here. What I will show you, here is my Louis Vuitton stationery line um, MM notebook. The Gusto, Gusto, Gusto notebook. Um, I just want to show you that it just what I took it in here once and it fits perfectly. And you can zip it up, not a problem. And it's just flat in there. So if you did have sort of those kind of uh, A5 notebooks that you needed to take with you, you can know that they fit in here fine. A4 wouldn't fit, but they, but yeah, it's perfect. It fit in there great. So in the main compartment, I have my iPhone 7 Plus. I have on the top here, I have a little bibby for Mussy. He, you can see he was bringing up his breakfast on it. Sorry. <laughs> on top here, I have my sunglasses and these are the Key Australia collaboration with Crispy, who's my favourite Ipsy makeup artist. And this is her Key Australia line. Bam, we will show you there. Oh, I actually got a request <laughs> to do my updated sunglasses collection. Uh, so yeah, that could be quite cool. So if you guys want to see that video, comment uh, down below. Let me know or give this video a thumbs up and I'll for sure do that. I will show you all my sunnies that I have, but these are Key Australia and they're really big and oversized and obviously rose gold reflector, so they're great. And so then we're just gonna go down and show you miscellaneous stuff. I have hand wipes, I always wipe everything down after, like I let Mussy do whatever he wants. He's crawling now, officially crawling. 
And I don't care where he crawls. He crawls everywhere, on the tiles, on carpets, fine. And once he's done, I just wipe him down and it's not a bother. The germs is really, it's good for them. It's good for their immune system. So I'm not a worrisome mum like that. The only thing I worry about is if he picks stuff up and eats it and chokes on it, obviously. But these are really great. I think I've shown them before. If you're looking for good sanitary, like hand wipes that get rid of the germs, Dettol, and they leave your hands really soft and smelling so nice. Okay, then kind of packed like so. That's kind of how I lay it out, if you can see. On the side here, I have my reading glasses. They are Chanel's. And guys, I've seen them before. I will show you. Here is the back shot of them they're beautiful because they're so lightweight they're a really lightweight frame and i love that then down the front this is where i have miscellaneous sort of stuff this is my little juicy tour hair clip that i got from new york in 2010 when i had my world trip around the world and stopped in new york i got this from the juicy tour flagship store it's like my little angel it's a little hair clip i take it everywhere these are my nail polishes because I stopped in at the nail salon yesterday, uh, day before yesterday. Happy Valentine's Day for this week gone as well, guys, if you had a lovely time with your family, friends or loved ones. But I stopped in at the nail salon uh, a couple of days ago and these are still in here. I took my own polishes, took my own polishes with me because I knew I wanted this color and I always take my Sally Hansen quick dry uh insta dry top coat so i don't have to sit in the salon for hours while it dries because i don't get shellac I, I can't stand shellac um so i knew i wanted uh dare it nude dare it nude yeah dare it nude by essence cosmetics uh which is one of my favorite colors and then my sally hansen quick dry so i took them with me and then the wallet i'm using in here and this isn't a full full size wallet it's uh the zippy compact wallet from louis vuitton but a full full size wallet will fit in this bag as well standing up uh on its side an insulate wallet fits on its side but this is my zippy compact wallet flat lay so this was the original model it's now in an accordion gusset style but this is my one wallet it's the most phenomenal wallet it's my one wallet tag these are all my bank and insurance cards these are all my points cards and my license was there i have cash laying flat i thought i had more cash it must be in the bottom back um cash laying flat there i have coins in the coin compartment i totally store coins in there no problem and i have receipts down the back you can lay you can lay cash if you're a flat lay kind of girl with bills you can lay them flat there but for some reason i don't know why i store them there these receipts we have oh i stopped in at a jeweler and i got um a cleaner for my diamonds uh, for my diamond rings it was so so dirty and I have a Starbucks receipt because I went to Starbucks again with Mussy on the side down this side I have my keys house keys work keys my parents keys in my uh, multi clay from Louis Vuitton it's the monogram with the darker fuchsia interior the berry fuchsia interior it's really beautiful I haven't actually traded that out to my multi-color for a while then I have this little gem this is my toiletry case 15 in the monogram canvas I don't think a lot in here has changed since my last one. Oh, I did unravel my earbuds because I use them they're very confusing with the cord now for the sevens because it has like the charger cord and then it doesn't really work with your laptop and I was trying to edit. I have hair ties, I have band-aids, my pen, I have a wall charger for my Apple devices. I still have that sleek palette and it's in here and sometimes I want to reach for it and it's in here so i have to come and get it i have my tur uh, turbulences from louis vuitton the travel size which i love i showed you band-aid i showed you this last time blush brush for the sleek palette and my hydra beauty balm from chanel and love this guy so so cute really love it 
go and check it out if you've been thinking about it. I totally recommend it. I have my ever handy PM Agenda 6 ring. It's got a lot of cards in it at the moment. It's a little bit too bulky on the front. But I've been playing around with the front and putting all my stickers on it and putting little snap clips that open to the day. I also have my uh, fashion file pen in here, which is a great black pen. So that is my agenda. In Damier is you are from Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't say. The main, main body compartment empty. You can just see it's the black nylon polyamide lining down inside. You can't really see anything else. But then there is just one slip pocket at the back here. And I know this. <laughs> Look at this, it's just full. There's the rest of the cash. There is a little bit more cash. I thought I had more. And this is just full to the brim of receipts. We have baby bunting. I stopped in there. That Again, I had to return one of the gates. We have um, the Sephora return. Because I did return that in bloom palette that you might have seen me haul if you watched that video. I did return the in bloom palette because it was really too similar to my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So I returned that and I actually got a Makeup Forever HD foundation, which I wanted to get and uh, in the color that I wanted. So I was really happy. I have a Kmart receipt, I have a Target receipt, I have a Australia Post receipt and a Woolworths shopping receipt. This was the little envelope I got my return exchange in from Sephora. How cute is that? That's so cute. Uh, so that is what is all down the back. Was well, there anything else? No! That is my backpack completely empty. So you can guys just saw how much came out and that was just for me. But I'm going to go ahead and just show you quickly how I pack up mum mode. Okay, mum mode, we needed this guy. Shout out to one of my subbies, hi doll. She gave me the idea, or let me know, a subby let me know that a nappy the diaper do fit in the Louis Vuitton toiletry 19. This is in the monogram. This is what I usually put all my face creams in, but I put two nappies in here and they fit perfectly uh, for Mussy. I also put some wipes. So these are just his little wet ones. Sorry, wet ones. And put them down inside there. If I needed, well, the pacifier would be in the front, but that's okay. We can put that in there. And then, oh, this is this new Nivea um, soft face and body hand <laughs> lotion. I always put a um, moisturizer on his face. And I've done that since he was probably three months, actually. And I've noticed he's never really got cradle cap or baby acne or anything. I always wash him in oil and I put coconut oil on him. So I keep his skin really moist and I just find that he's always has clear skin. That would be his little mussy pack of needs, like nappies and stuff. And the toiletry 19, boom, fits in the PM backpack, pump spring, sorry, PM backpack perfectly. Other things for Mussy is I would do a bottle but I'd do the whole bottle up. I wouldn't take his thermos or anything or formula. I would just make the bottle up because I just obviously just have this for quick errands where I wouldn't need too much. If I needed a lot his big baby bag can either be in the car or I can take that with me. So pretending that would be a full ready to go bottle that can go down the side. I'll put his little uh, bibby back in there even though um, he may not need it because he's not really eating food. I would need my wallet. I would need my phone. We'll put that in there. I would need my car key. So we'll put that back in the front. So I know where that is. And I would need my keys. I'll put them in the back slip pocket. So I know where my things are. And what else? My sunglasses for me and yeah I think that would be about it that I would take that I would need for a quick just a really quick dash out with Mussy and that's how I would pack it mum mode I'm just looking around if there's anything else I needed yeah and that's how I would pack it mum mode for Mussy so using that toiletry 19 really helps just sort of compartmentalize where his things are and my things are so 
Yay, that's my mum pouch as well. Hey guys, so that is it. That is What's In My Bag Wednesday with this Louis Vuitton Palm Springs backpack in the classic, iconic, full monogram print. No monogram reverse in the PM size is what I went for in the end and I'm super happy with it. I'm really carefree with it, no overshadow to worry about and I'm just carefree with it. I sort of throw it in Marcy's pram, I throw it around, put it in his pack and play. I don't particularly freak out about it or anything like that. And it's being a backpack, I don't think, you know, you don't baby it like it's a handbag or whatnot and get worried about it or anything. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this What's My Bag Wednesday, guys. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Giving us thumbs up now on YouTube is really, really important. It is just verifying that our channels are well standing, in good standing, and they're not junk or crap channels. So please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. That makes me feel really happy as well. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, guys, that would be really cool. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Peace.